All right, we're working on the gun here a little bit, and the gun handle has to come down just a little bit more along with that trigger guard. I definitely want that distinguished there. There we go. That's good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little series of little lines on there. So actually, they usually have a the silver part on the top, right? And the wooden part goes in the center. That's how that's how my gun is. So we're gonna kind of make it into a little Smith and Weston here. And when we paint it, we're going to paint this portion silvery. When we make that, uh, it's not really rounded, rounded either. It's kind of just, um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little stop cut here. A little V cut there. Do that first. Okay. A little V cut on the top. Keep your knife. And I'm just going to follow that butt of the gun. Like so. Let me do that back here where I have a little more where I can see it. I'll be right back. All right. So that's the handle portion. Uh, the gripper that's on the outside and that should have a little hole in it let's see if I can find a that would look nice if we can get a little trigger hole in there let me see if I can find one of my real teeny tiny I think this is it yep I don't know if that's going to be small enough or not mm, barely maybe you know what, we'll take it from the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if we can bring it up kind of close. We have the, the butt of the gun. But here's the trigger thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this in. And this is optional. You don't need to do this, but I think it will look nicer. Of course, I can't get the trigger in there, but it's too small. But you'll get the idea once I pop that out of there what it will look like. And there we go. Let me take it back here and just finish it up to show it to you. You have to be very, very careful. You don't knock anything out. Try not to twist it. When you're trying to make this hole, just let the go in and out. And take a knife here and, and redefine that line. I'll be right back. But sometimes this stuff is so small to try to do it in front of a camera. A video player, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there is a little hole, a little gripper, and what I'm going to do here yet is really distinguish this, bring this down a little bit more. Alright, there you go. So, that's as much of the detail I'm going to put into this gun right here. I think it looks pretty good. It's simplified, but it still is a nice little gun on the side and a holster. 
And so the holster is going to be brown and then um, or black maybe and then uh, a darker brown and then a light brown for the handle and a silver color for the trigger but you know when you go in there to do that trigger you want to be very um, you know we won't have the trigger itself but the guard trigger guard instead now once you get in there you can twist a little bit um, but it's very hard to pop that out of there. You want to be very, very careful. And take your time. You don't want to rush. You don't want to rush through that. So that's the gun. Okay. Um, and then we're going to start putting the hair in. Let's start with that. I'm going to use a little bit of a wider a wider we're going to do the hair in the back here first. Little strokes that work the best when doing anything like this and you know going in different directions a lot of times uh, helps. Like crisscrossing it a little bit helps out. I usually do it up to the hat first and then down to the neck. Now you want to be very careful when you do this because you don't want to ram your your little V tool into the scarf area. So you need a lot of control where I rest my thumb down on it and um, you know I, I just take my time with it. I'll show you some of it here and the rest I'll do offline because this will just be you know the same, same thing all the way through. Now I'm using a little bit wider V tool. It will make things go a little quicker. Okay, so when I have that done and the top, then I start crisscrossing it and taking little strokes here and there. Try to match the two. I'll go from one direction now turn it around. Like doing four layers of this. I try to pull that this gouge back up. All right. See how that looks? All right. That's what it looks like. So, yeah, this is this is the difficult part. It's trying to feel how the grain is going um, and all that. You know, it's it's just taking your time doing it. Try not to take super long gouge marks on there it's just you don't want to do those strokes too long okay so if you want to go over some of those flat areas like this here I have a couple flat areas I can go back over uh, you'll you'll make it a little bit finer the texture a little bit finer when you go back over it all right so just try to be very very careful um, going down. Now I'm doing it this way but this is not really uh, a good way to control it unless I have very little places to go there to to do. I might do one or two but usually I'm holding it like this when I carve and I move the carving where I need it to go. Alright. Alright that's one and now we're going to do the mustache the same way. I'll be back. 